<gasps> oh my god. It's so red. Can you see how red that area is? Oh my god, 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 oh my god. This sucks. Oh, it's kind of painful. Yo, is this a prank? No, 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 no. Look at this, look at this. Hello everyone, welcome to Infofax Skin. My name is Judith. Today we have a new little friend on set. <laughs> it's called Vipo. Uh, actually, I just received this on my birthday, so... She's with me on set today. <laughs> My job today is actually to help you to achieve the best skin you can possibly have with a proper skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out any of the upcoming video. Today, we are going to discuss a tool you probably have seen a lot on Instagram or Facebook or I don't know, maybe on Amazon, which is the pore vacuum device. So you may have seen the ad regarding this pore vacuum that it showcased the dramatic effect of the before and after pictures for of people after they use the pore vacuum. Well, I get why is it that this is kind of appealing to a lot of people because it is actually being marketed in a way that this pore vacuum is gonna help you to suck out whatever gunk that is gonna clog your pores, suck out the excess oil, sebum from your face, prevent the formation of blackheads. Yes, and then there are actually some even more advanced version of it that it has some sort of microscope that you can maybe connect it to the PC that you can actually see the whole thing in action. The process of sucking out the gunks from your pores. Also, I get it's probably pretty satisfying to play with if I don't have any more information or any knowledge behind all of this. I probably would be really itching to get one to try it out myself. But before you rush to buy one for yourself, I would strongly advise you to actually think twice about it. Because with this type of pore vacuum, the suction power of it is actually gonna damage your skin even more. Yes, I agree that it will be able to help you suck out some of the blackheads, but the disadvantage of using this does not outweigh the benefits of you using it. So for myself, I would definitely not use this on my skin. There are actually a lot of risks associated with this pore vacuum. The main danger would be the broken capillaries. So the broken capillaries, it would appear on our skin like some tiny red lines on the skin, some even worse scenario it would cause bruises on your face. It's basically like planting hickeys on your face that the scarring of this could actually be permanent and the only way probably to get rid of it if it is in such a severe condition would be really freaking expensive laser treatments. So do you see where I'm on about regarding the danger of this device? The high suction settings of these kind of pore vacuums can actually create micro tears on our skin as well. This would lead to a lot of unwanted side effects. So the general rule would be anything that is related to us trying to manipulate the structure of our skin, it would be best to be done by the professionals like the dermatologists or the aestheticians. The key issue with pore vacuum would be the amount of trauma that you are actually introducing to your skin when you try to use it. Besides that, certain skin types and skin tones would experience different effects. Lighter skin tones would probably experience like broken capillaries, bruises, while darker skin tones, it would lead to hyperpigmentation and potentially permanent scarring. These two issues are really, really difficult to treat with. The only way to get rid of it is actually really expensive laser treatments. And it's not even like you can get rid of it with one session, you probably require multiple sessions of really expensive laser treatments to really get rid of this. The new way to suck that yuck out of your pores. 
Dermasuction removes blackheads and dirt from the pores on your face without squeezing. Just look at everything it extracts. It got rid of all the dead skin that was around in my nose area, and now it's like flawless. This is the most innovative one I've seen this year so far. Honestly, I really like this. I felt like it was really satisfying to use. This pore vacuum is being marketed in a way that um, the pressure, the trauma is going to introduce to our skin is less compared to when we squeeze our pores using our fingers. But I would advise you to try and think twice. This is really a marketing gimmick because when we try to squeeze the blackheads, the pores with our fingers, at least we are able to control the pressure of our fingers squeezing our pores. Still, it doesn't mean that I agree with squeezing your pores. You should definitely not do that. But using a pore vacuum, it's essentially the same. And it's actually causing more trauma to your skin because of the high suction settings. The pressure you're going to apply to your skin is actually much more worse compared to you are using your hand to squeeze your pores. I really think that we should leave vacuum to household cleanings. You can use vacuum to suck your carpet or whatever. Our face is a really delicate skin. It's not a carpet, just don't use vacuum on it. Right, people? <laughs> I understood that with the current COVID situations, so a lot of us will not be able to get the facials that we normally used to get. We don't really have the clinics, the dermatologists to consult like how we used to, especially when we are in lockdown previously. That's actually how this type of DIY home device is more appealing to a lot of people. However, it's still better to leave all these to the professionals to do it. There are actually other ways to treat the blackheads in a more gentle way. Like for example, the most effective way to treat blackheads would be using the chemical exfoliants like AHAs and also BHAs. Especially BHAs, it's able to penetrate into our pores and help us to dissolve whatever gunk that is clogging our pores. So over time, it's going to help to improve our skin. But by using pore vacuum, it's gonna only help to suck out whatever that is on top of the surface layer of the skin. But whatever problem, the microcomedons, whatever that is underneath at the deeper layer of your pores, it's still there. It's still gonna explode over time. So I don't really see what's the point of using the pore vacuum. If AHAs and BHAs doesn't really do the work, if you have a more severe condition with your blackheads, Topical retinoids or maybe prescription retinoids by the dermatologist would definitely able to solve the problem. Overall, for me, i really not going to recommend pore vacuums. I don't think it is worth the time and effort of using it. Not when there are much more gentle options for you to deal with blackheads. No matter how popular this device might be at this moment, I still don't think that this device is able to substitute the professional facials that you can get from the aestheticians or the dermatologists. The aftermath of using, the risk of using this pore vacuum is just really not worth it. So if you had tried the pore vacuum yourself or if you have any questions related to this or maybe you have more information to share with me, just leave the comments down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out any of the upcoming video. So I will see you guys next time. Bye!